What was that outside? The gunslinger. Showed up three weeks back. We've been prisoners ever since. See that borderline stretching around the town? Woke up one morning, there it was. Nothing gets past it, in or out. No supply wagons, no reinforcements. Pretty soon the whole town's gonna starve to death. But he let us in. You ain't carrying any food, just three more mouths to feed. We'll all die even sooner now. What happens if someone crosses the line? Ah, well, he wasn't a very good shot then. He was aiming for the hat. He shoots people's hats. I think it was a warning shot. Ah, no, yes, I see. Hmm. What does he want? Has he issued some kind of demand? Says he wants us to give him the alien doctor. But that's you. Why would he want to kill you, unless he's met you? And how could he know that we'd be here? We didn't even know we'd be here. <laughs> we were aiming for Mexico. The doctor was taking us to see the Day of the Dead festival. Mexico's 200 miles due south. Well, that's what happens when people get toast crumbs on the console. Anyway, I think it's about time I met him, don't you? Who? The chap outside said I could be the alien doctor, but you said I wasn't, so you already know who it is. <laughs> Two alien doctors. We're like buses. Resident 81, I presume. So beloved by the townsfolk, he warranted an alteration to the sign, probably because he rigged up these electrics. And I'm guessing he's in here, because if half the town suddenly wanted to throw me to my death, this is where I'd want to be. I don't know what you... All right, Isaac. I think the time for subterfuge has passed. Good afternoon. My name is Carla Jex. I'm the doctor. The Carla. I love the Carla. They're one of the most ingenious races in the galaxy. Seriously, they could build a spaceship out of Tupperware and moss. All right. Uh, how did you get here? My craft crashed about a mile or so out of town. I would have died if Isaac and the others hadn't pulled me from the wreckage. And you stayed as their doctor. On my world, I was a surgeon, so it seemed logical. And it gave me an opportunity to repay my debt to them. <laughs> Listen to him. Talking like it was nothing. Tell them about the cholera. Now, Isaac, I'm sure our guests are... Two years after he arrived, there was an outbreak of cholera. Thanks to the doc here, not a single person died. A minor infection we'd found a treatment for centuries ago. And then there's the... What, what do you call them? The, the electrics? Using my ship as a generator, I was able to rig up some rudimentary heating and lighting for the town. So why does the gunslinger want you? It don't matter. I'm just saying, if we knew that... America's then... land of second chances. We call this town mercy for a reason. Though there's some around here don't feel that way. Now, Isaac, we've discussed this. People whose lives you saved are suddenly saying we should hand you over. They're scared, that's all. You can hardly blame them. Them being scared scares me. War only ended five years back. That old violence is still under the surface. We give up Doc Jex, then we're handing the keys of the town over to chaos. Did you try to repair your craft? Surely someone with your skills. It really was very badly damaged. We evacuate the town. Our ship's just over the hills, room for everyone. I'll pop out, bring it back here, Robert's your uncle. Really? Simple as that. No crazy schemes, no negotiations. I've matured. I'm 1,200 years old now. Plus, I don't want to miss the archers. Oh, so you're not even a tiny bit curious. Why would I be curious? It's a mysterious space cowboy assassin. Curious? Of course I'm not curious. Son? You still got to get past the gunslinger. How are you going to do that? With a little sleight of hand.